Hey friends, my name is Jenna. I'm a traveling aesthetic nurse who practically lives out of a suitcase. This summer, my family and I went to Cancun, Mexico for a vacation full of swimming in cenotes, snorkeling through reefs, and seeing a new world wonder. Come travel with us on the second part of this jam-packed adventure. On the fourth day of our vacation, we had to wake up at 6 a.m. to drive all the way to Chichen Itza. This is only in the plane ride. <laughs> because the bus stopped at every single hotel on the strip, it took about four hours to get there. But when we were there, wow. Chichen Itza is a Mayan city that occupied four square miles. It baffles me how brilliant the Mayans were with their architecture. The Mayans were geniuses of their time. All of their stadiums and religious centers were built to be acoustic so that their leaders could be heard over crowds. One of the most extraordinary structures is the iconic New World Wonder, the Kupulkan Pyramid. This was built in such a way that on the equinox, the sun's shadows would make it seem like the serpent Kupulkan was descending the pyramid himself. When this happened, the Mayans knew it was time to harvest. One structure that resonated with me was the group of a thousand columns. It was thought to be a symbol that, as humans, we may have a thousand things going on inside of us, yet some part of us will always be a warrior. We took one last look at Chichen Itza and then headed to Selva Maya. Gucci, 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 drink cheers. Now I will say that Hacienda Selva Maya is a beautiful resort and I'm glad we went. But when I tell you guys, do not eat the food here. I will show you later why, but trust me, the buffet is not worth it. The reason people come here is for the cenote somala. We had to go through a freezing cold shower before descending the stairs into the great cenote hole. This is a very popular cenote, so it is very busy, but it is so beautiful. This cenote is a giant hole in the ground and it is actually 130 feet deep. There were definitely parts where I was a little freaked out, but overall it was super refreshing after being at Chichen Itza. For your information, this is something I never would have thought I would have done. This is like my number one fear is open water. <laughs> so you can imagine my fear right now, but I'm slowly getting over it, even though I can't see a damn thing because it's a hundred and she's right, we eventually loosened up and had fun.
a good hour down there um, just swimming and jumping into the water. It was a great time. And then, of course, I had to get a coconut. What'd you get, Jenna? Coconut with rum. Ooh. Taste test. Very good. <laughs> yep. Good? Must be nice. Before we went back to Cancun, we passed through the city of Valladolid. Mm -hmm. The city is colonial and most well known for their silver. I don't know what I was trying to film here, but I'm so glad I did. One of my favorite parts was the confidant chairs, which are literally leave room for Jesus chairs. When we got back to the hotel, we decided to do a sibling-only dinner. We went to Mikado, which is a place that was connected to our resort and had really good Japanese food. I got a really good cocktail, some gyoza, and I also got a gyoza soup. When we rejoined with my parents, we got ice cream. I got cookies and cream. I got choco yandu. <laughs> For real? Which kind did you get? Chocolate banana. Yeah, like the one with the little cookies and cream. Double fisted. We sat under the stars, yeah. making it a beautiful end to a fantastic. Now remember when I said do not eat the food at Selva Maya? We got food poisoning last night. Still don't feel great, but <laughs> we're trying. We planned to go to Isla Mujeres, but on the way there, I felt worse and worse. And we're back. We're going back to our hotel, and the rest of them are going on the excursion. Unfortunately, it got worse and most of us spent the entire day very sick. We knew it was Selva Maya because the only one who did not get sick was Ella, who didn't eat anything but bread there. We literally spent all day yesterday sleeping and now we feel a little better, better enough to go out today. So we are getting ready and we're going to go to Shell Hot today. We still didn't feel 100% but luckily we had a long bus drive ahead of us. And then we were there. Shoha is an adventure park and water park, basically. It is huge and all-inclusive. Our first stop was breakfast. They had a buffet there, but I was not trusting it, so I went with a lot of bland food. And then we went over this crazy bridge that I almost fell face first into the water. side of the island had lots of nature trails and we walked all the way to our excursion, the zip bike. This was actually a lot more terrifying than I thought it would be. It's basically a self-guided tour. You're up on a zip line cycling through forests, over water. through canyons. Yeah, this one actually freaked me out. And then it took us through this cave. 
But there were bats in there. That was kind of not good. monkey friend to see if we can spot him. Then we suited up and made our way to the lazy river. This part of the lazy river made me think of Splash Mountain. eventually opened up into this great big area and then Ella and I split off to do this jungle gym area. <laughs> I tried this but my arms were too short. Ella and I ziplined into the water. My first one was peaceful. My second round, not so much. and then went snorkeling. The last thing we had to do was go down the swirly slide, which made me very dizzy. Got a little burnt. Dude, guess what? I brought literally 12 swimsuits and I'm wearing the last one. <laughs> I don't know how. And we got sick yesterday. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I'm the U.S. Since this was our last night in Cancun, we all had to take COVID tests before we could get back onto the plane. Funny enough, when we got to the airport the next morning, they dropped the COVID entry requirements for the United States. But even funnier was that I went through all of that nonsense and then my phone decided to die. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, it just f***ing died. My phone died. It was at 15% and on the charger. You're stupid. Luckily, they still let me keep my test. And then Emma and I went to Hana. Mine is Ella. And then Ella joined last night. Why are you dressed like that? Why are you dressed like that? You really like that. smell bad. Yeah. Hana is a Polynesian restaurant in our hotel. The Tiki rum was really good and so was the taro root bread. 
but I, my stomach was not ready for chicken. We just made a mistake about eating dinner and it's 10.44. We have to we be up in four hours. <laughs> five, five, but still. Hours. Well, like, yeah, five hours. Five hours. We thought we were hungry, but we really weren't hungry. <laughs> We just wanted to eat all of them. Yeah. I well, wish we would have went for breakfast because they probably had some good breakfast, but. Oh well. Hot tub time. The next morning, we were up at 4 in the morning to head to the Cancun airport, and then we were off. Cancun was honestly such a lovely place and I did not realize how much there is to do there. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.